Sharing God's love equals caring for others. Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Today's reading, titled Sharing More Than Stuff, was written by Peter Chen. But I don't want to share, wailed my youngest child, brokenhearted that he would have to part with even one of his many Lego pieces. I rolled my eyes at his immaturity, but truthfully, this attitude is not limited to children. How much of my own life, and really all of human experience, is marked by a stubborn resistance to freely and generously give to others? As believers in Jesus, we're called to share our very lives with one another. Ruth did just that with her mother-in-law, Naomi. As a destitute widow, Naomi had little to offer Ruth, and yet Ruth connected her own life to her mother-in-law's, vowing that they would press on together and that not even death would separate them. She said to Naomi and Ruth 1, Your people will be my people, and your God my God. She freely and generously gave to the older woman, showing love and compassion. While sharing our lives in this way can be difficult, we should remember the fruit of such generosity. Ruth shared her life with Naomi, but later she bore a son, the grandfather of King David. Jesus shared his very life with us, but was then exalted and now reigns at the right hand of the Father in heaven. As we generously share with one another, we can be confident that we will experience greater life still. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Ruth chapter 1, verses 11 through 18. But Naomi said, Return home, my daughters. Why would you come with me? Am I going to have any more sons who could become your husbands? Return home, my daughters. I am too old to have another husband, even if I thought there was still hope for me. Even if I had a husband tonight and then gave birth to sons, would you wait until they grew up? Would you remain unmarried for them? No, my daughters, it is more bitter for me than for you, because the Lord's hand has turned against me. At this, they wept aloud again. Then Orpah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth clung to her. Look, said Naomi, your sister-in-law is going back to her people and her gods. Go back with her. But Ruth replied, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. When Naomi realized that Ruth was determined to go with her, she stopped urging her. Let's pray. Lord, please help us to realize that in order to have deep lasting friendships with others, we must first have a deep abiding relationship with you. May we not miss out on your great blessings by holding on to our stubborn will and break us free from the pride that keeps us from experiencing the best that you have to offer your children. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.